Was the groping incident staged with a body double? And how are the students from Kurokawa Academy linked with Ahara? These are the questions that need answering as we continue to play Lost Judgment. Enjoy, guys. A previously unseen link is established between the groper and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion, and by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. Chapter 6, Converging Heat Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ehara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. <sighs> okay. The stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train, the same one Yui Mamiya was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ehara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Mamiya, Ahara's standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikoshiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind, who might be the key to all this, is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying, and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Ohara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro-kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ohara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. I'm hoping that's not the case. Jeez. Why's that? It's just, she's a really good teacher. She's passionate, responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past, that a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikoshiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, that'd be fucked up. I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. I'm going back to Ajin Show tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa Sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? Please. I was looking into Kurokawa Academy and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. Oh God. What's what that? is it? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. A third year jumped off the school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. Oh yeah, she mentioned that. 
bullying suicide from 13 years ago didn't sawa sensei mention that too so 13 years ago if they're 30 they would have been 17 at the time If I remember correctly, the student lived but remains in a coma to this day. Yeah, okay. Somebody in a coma. So would that be even further motive for them to plan all this? Actually, Sawa Sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's got to be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusumoto? No. Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Vice ministers rank above most of government officials, so this lady has quite a position of power at the Ministry of Health. Well, do you remember the uproar in the health ministry when Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Apparently, his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos, which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. Okay, so Kusumoto's son. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. Yeah, That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. Yeah. Guess I'll head back to the office for today. Whew, okay, so where's the uh Oh, it's not here. I need to go to... The office? To check the bulletin board? Oh. Ryan Acosta. <laughs> it is I, Ryan Acosta, Shinobi Sensation from the Shadows, it has been quite a while, Master Yagami. You may be excited to discover that I've opened up a dojo in Kamurocho. However, a rival dojo opened up soon after and began poaching my students left and right. I wish to discuss appropriate countermeasures and thus I've contacted you. I shall await you at M Side Cafe. P.S. Fair warning. I'll have activated my chameleon camouflage technique, so keep a sharp lookout. You'll find that my ninjutsu has improved over time. Believe it! Wow, this takes me back. I haven't heard from Ryan in forever. Ran into him three years ago. 
I still find it amusing that an American ninja came to help me fight a gang. <laughs> now he's opened up a dojo in Japan? Not sure what kind of person would go there, but apparently he's good enough to have a rival. Anyway, I need to find out more details. Alright, let's go see Ryan. This should be fun. Um, let's see. Willing dojos. What's this place? I remember. Ooh, what do we want? A mega fruit tart? Special pancakes? Starving. Now we're talking. Pretty tasty. Thanks. So tasty. According to what he wrote, he's supposed to be hiding in the area, but where exactly? You just call me slow. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit, I didn't... Aha, there you are. Hey. Hey there, ceiling ninja. Look at the, the chick in the background. Hey there, ceiling ninja. Or should I say Ryan? <laughs> Oh! Oh! Whoa. Nin, nin. It is I, Ryan Acosta, Shinobi Sensation from the Shadows. Believe it! No way. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. Of course not, Master Yagami. From controlling one's breath to conjuring fire, a modern ninja must blend both secrecy and spectacle. <laughs> Hush, how can I ever keep up with you? Ho 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 ho! Ninja arts aside, have you been keeping well? Yeah. More or less, you seem to be doing pretty good yourself. Is it true you've opened up a dojo? Ah, yes. In order to spread the Ryan Ninja way throughout the world, I poured my entire fortune into establishing a base here in Kumrocho. Sounds like a big step for you. But as I understand it, a rival dojo started poaching your students? <laughs> Lamentably so. The seed leads I've done much to uh, cultivate were plucked one by one, leaving my garden for the future. All but barren. Oh. Damn, that's no good. But on the brighter side, doesn't that mean ninjas are getting more popular? Kamurocho having two dojos alone, alone must be a sign of that, right? Indeed! Since we last met, I've mastered the art of video streaming! Very useful for disseminating ninja intel and promoting our public image! <laughs> In fact, before my disciples subscribed to my dojo, they had first subscribed to my channel! Hmm. Gotcha. Now, who's this rival of yours? Ah, oh, yes! The Russian! Huh? He's Russian? You mean he's another foreigner? What is it about Japan you guys love so much? <laughs> hey! Hey! Wait, wait, hold on a second! <laughs> Why is he calling us out? I feel like this is the developers talking exactly to their their um overseas audiences. <laughs> Why are you guys so obsessed with anime? I don't understand. 
everything. Now then, my rival is a former Spetsnaz by the name of Borscht Kalashnik Kalashnikov. With stature like a bear and physique like a tiger, he is unlike any foe I face. Seriously? Former Spetsnaz? You mean the Russian special forces? Ugh. It would seem so. He is known for pushing his disciples to the point of injury due to the har harshness of his training. And he still gets students, huh? I don't see how brutal injuries appeal to your average nu ninja enthusiast. Um... <laughs> Does he say, if he dies, he dies? That is indeed the mystery. One of my own was set to sent to, in, to infiltrate, but alas, his event, efforts proved fruitless. Mm -hmm. One of your own? Lion, you nimple. Spirits, release! Dark doppelganger delusion! Huh? Whoa, what the hell? Believe it! Who's that? It looks like an old man. Um. At this point, I'm not sure what to believe. Standing before you is the last of my disciples, Master Jiro Zaiman Asakusa. Asakusa. At the sturdy age of 78, he is my most, most faithful successor. 78? Huh. Uh huh. <sighs> Though he expended great effort to infiltrate Kalashnikov's dojo, he succumbed to the trials they put him through. I've brought unbelievable shame. Oh, I've brought unbelievable shame to myself. <sighs> Wait, what kind of trials are we talking here? The trials are rigorous, rigorous tests. Kalashnikov designated. Uh, designed to determine his shinobi skills. You cannot join his dojo unless you overcome them. That is why I humbly request that you infiltrate in his stead. Hmm. Let me get this straight. You want me to go undercover at a sketchy Russian ninja school to discover how they stole your students? That is the essence of it. Yes. Yeah. Well, all right. I'm game. <laughs> you are a man of great merit, Master Yagami. Please use this to aid you on your mission. Hmm? And this is a ninja outfit. Let's go. Authentic Japanese ninja garb designed by me. Uh. Don't tell me you want me to wear this. Of course you'll wear it. Every ninja needs proper attire. Seriously? Yeah, and I'm not a ninja. Well, once you've made up your mind, make your way to Senryo Avenue. Reception Ninja will be standing guard at the dojo. Oh, a Reception Ninja. Yeah. All right. I'll at least go give it a shot. I feel like there's a, a chance that Yagami is not going to return and instead is going to go with the Reception Ninja to Atami. Probably. Dueling dojos. Excuse me. Hey there. This wouldn't be Kalashnikov's dojo, would it? This is the reception ninja? Aw, I thought it was gonna be a hot chick with boobs. Big boobs. All outsiders are forbidden. Return to your domain at once. Um. Oh, uh, actually, I was hoping to become your disciple. And you came not knowing the dress code? Dress code? Oh, whoops, I forgot. Does that mean... Oh, you don't mean... If you wish to enter, obey the dress code. Fine. Not like it's the weirdest disguise I've worn. Hey, hold on, hold on. We have the street style, the work clothes, the vampire costume, <laughs> the pilot, bartender style. I like that one. Ninja outfit. Wow. 
Wow, that is not the look for Yagami, but here we go. Okay, they'll let me enter for sure now. <laughs> Lovely. Excuse me. Hello. Proper attire confirmed. You may pass. All right, infiltration step one, success. Huh, this dojo just looks like a traditional Japanese room. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, honestly. All the students in their getups. Looks like a bit much. Hey, how's your mystic dragonfire release training going? Breathing fireballs out your mouth yet? Not really. I have pretty low alcohol tolerance, so if I end up swallowing some mis by mistake, I get dizzy. Haha, <laughs> at this rate, you'll stumble into enemy territory all drunk and get decapitated. Swing! Is this an actual ninja school or some kind of cosplay convention? Greetings, stranger. I believe we've not yet met. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Yagami. I'm training to become a disciple here. I am called Fox. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Hmm? Fox? Is that really your name? It was bestowed upon me by Kalashnikov Sensei himself. Think of it as a codename of sorts. Oh. Wow, never knew ninjas had those. Look there! Our Sensei has arrived! Now what? It is time for the school motto. School motto. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> Just be quiet and listen. You'll have to repeat it yourself, so you'd best memorize it quickly. I'm getting like Sheree PP flashbacks. <laughs> the heart is the sheath of our blade. For we offer ourselves to the darkness. Our minds and our bodies act as one. For we have been born to die. Believe it! Believe it! What? They stole that from Ryan Acosta! Why does every ninja keep saying that? So, for today's announcement, our reception ninja has informed me a prospective disciple is in our midst. Ah, introductions already. Who would that be? Name yourself. Yep. Uh, I believe you're referring to me, sir. So it's you. Come forward. It's Yagami. Hello, everyone. I'm Yagami. Nice to meet you. Hmm, your countenance is quite striking, and your physique, very disciplined. Well, I do get plenty of exercise. Do you have any prior ninja experience? No. I don't even know what that question means. Ha 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 Not to worry. Even I would be surprised to find an experienced practitioner in this day and age. Huh, all things considered, he seems like a decent guy. It is my great pleasure to teach people ninjutsu in the land from which it originated. Though I admit, the age in which ninja dominated the battlefield has long since passed. Excuse me. Pardon me for asking, but you're from Russia, right? What made you want to be a ninja in Japan? I'm glad you brought that up. You see, the Kalashnikov school of ninjutsu traces back to the Sengoku period. Huh? huh? But the Sengoku period was, what, 500 years ago? There were ninjas in Russia even then? Have you heard of the great ninja war that raged between the Iga and the Koga clans? A man and a woman, woman from opposing sides pledged their love for one another despite the risk that posed. Having foreseen the wrath that would be exacted on them, they chose to flee together. They knew very well that in the world of ninjas, traitors are allowed no forgiveness. Thus they fled to a northern, to northern Japan and eventually to Russia. As for, fortune would have it, their tale did not end in tragedy. And I am but one of their descendants. No way. That's a pretty wild backstory. So, 
So, Master Yagami, was it? If you wish to become one of us, you will need to complete our trials. What does that mean? And what exactly are these trials? My lessons are neither for the weak in body nor the faint in heart, so I have designed a series of tests to determine your endurance and spirit. I should warn you, not even one of my Russian comrades succeeded in these trials. And these were military men. <sighs> Dang, they're that intense. Come and I will show you the way of a ninja. But first, you must show you are worthy. Got it. Then follow me. All right, it's time to become ninjas. Ninja ni narimashou! Tell me, how sturdy are your legs, Master Yagami? Huh. Pretty sturdy, I think. That's good! Sturdy legs are a ninja's foundation! In ages past, ninjas required unyielding legs moving at blistering speeds to deliver information effectively. Therefore, when people thought of swift runners, a ninja would most naturally come to mind. The speediest of ninjas were even compared to Idaten, the god of running, and would cover the equivalent of 200 kilometers in a single day. Are you serious? 200 kilometers? That's inhuman. For your first trial, I will assess whether you have the speed and stamina necessary to prevail as a ninja. Yep. Okay, well, all I need to do. Simple. Huh? You have chase, Master Yagami. I see. Huh. Now that I can do. Ah, we were born for this. Hold up. This is right up our alley, isn't it, Yagami? Oh, I missed it. I could have kicked that thing at him. Dang it. Hold up. Is our ninja outfit making us run faster, you think? Chase complete. Oh, uh, you run like a ninja, all right, but I still caught you. Hmm, you are quick on your feet. I'll give you that. So, do I pass? Getting ahead of yourself, are we? Look around. Huh? Is it fighting time? What the? When they get here? I thought they were still back at the dojo. You simply pursued me as I ran. But they use their shinobi skills to scale the buildings and walls, always keeping the shortest possible distance. And unlike you, not a single one of them is out of breath, 
Obstacles are mere afterthoughts to a ninja. Ugh. Ugh, you have a point. Dang, maybe we should join this school. These guys got... Ryan's got nothing on these guys. Maximize your efficiency while expending minimal stamina. A basic ninja talent. I see. Good to know. Now, let us begin the second trial. Come. What's he gonna make me do next? Poor Ryan. Darts? Excuse me. Uh, why are we at a bar? We're better to throw a shuriken! Um... Let's go! Shuriken, are you... I hope you're referring to darts. The mechanics are one and the same. Huh. You sure about that? Now, let the trial commence and hold nothing back. Uh-oh. When was the last time we played darts? Oh, shoot. Be fine. I'm not gonna hold back. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'm gonna just go for the bull. Nice. The bull. Because I have the beginner darts, so it's gonna be hard to get the, the triple twenty. Yep. Nice. nice. Uh, top that, Mr. Ninja. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Korega hisatsu no waza da. My turn then. Yep. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Ooh, you. Nice. Sucks, don't it? Okay. All right. Double 17. Double 17. See if we can get it. Ah. Uh, <sighs> let me try again. Let me try again. Ah. Uh. Shit. It's going to be tough. Yes. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go oh, in I'm your face. Yachts. To defeat me in a shuriken match, you've done well, Master Yagami. Does that mean I'm your disciple now? How naive. <laughs> That's a cool trick. What? Huh. Do you see the difference now? That is the technique of a true shinobi, the result of a thousand throws per day. Huh? 
That's a lot. It's not like any of this is real ninjutsu. How is it that he still has students? Now, let us head to the third and final trial. Yeah, but Ryan's shit isn't real ninjutsu either. So, what else are you gonna throw at me? Oh, cat? Oh, I got this. Huh? That cat's got a note in its collar. Excuse me. So... I've just received word from one of my spies. I must admit, Master Yagami, your ruse was quite something. Even I wish not to believe it. Huh? And the fight trial. But now that I know Ryan sent you, there is no more use for words. Ugh. Crap. Oh, strong master yagami that truly was something <sighs> sorry i didn't really think i'd get found out you pass huh? huh i'm saying that was your final trial and i am proud to admit you as a disciple of the Kal kalashnikov school of ninjutsu um but uh, didn't you just say i was a spy i did and so be it this is how it should be. All ninjas are spies, if you think about it. Uh, I mean, sure, I guess. Speed, dexterity, deception. You embody every ninja quality there is. That is more than enough to be a disciple of mine. Hey. You sure? I might end up stealing some of your coveted ninja secrets, you know. That concerns me little. Even if you do steal the secrets of our school, I doubt Ryan will be able to put them to use. You'll see. Damn! Wow, someone sounds confident. Come to think of it, I still haven't figured out how he poached Ryan's students. The trials he put me through were pretty tough after all. And if his training's even tougher, I don't see what keeps people around. Oh, why does everything have to hurt? Dude, don't like hit me, hit me. These guys seem to have no endurance whatsoever. Well, wh <laughs> blonde Kunoichi. Hey, boys. Guess what time it is? Oh. Oh. It all makes sense now. That's a Kunoichi, a female ninja. And whoa. Check out that outfit. Oh, oh Sophia san. Nah. Break time. There's tea and bentos waiting for you all. So let me hear a shout if you're hungry. Mommy might give you some milk if you're good. Oh, me. I'm hungry. <laughs> mm. Uh-oh. Have you boys been fighting? I do hope no one's hurt. We're fine. All part of our training. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And my brother's so strict, too. You all must be so brave. Yeah, right. They were ready to pass out a moment ago. Well, that's the motivation that... 
that they needed. Excuse me. Hey, who's she? That would be my sister, Sofia Kalashnikov. She's our Kunoi chief. Chief, yeah. Huh. First reception ninja. Now Kunoi chief. By the way, I made everyone's favorite delicious Hamburg steak. Oh, okay. Sign me up. Is Ryan offering Hamburg steak? I don't think so. Woohoo! I love your Hamburg steaks. In fact, I love everything about you. Don't tell me. Is she why Kal Kalashnikov school is so popular? Essence of sexy cosplay. As long as Sophia wields that technique, I will never lose to a rival school. Ever. Okay, tell... Tell Ryan to just give it up. It's no over. way. Well, I guess that's one mystery solved. What to make of it is yet another mystery. I beg your pardon. Eh? Yes? How can I help you? Um, well, I'd like to apply to your dojo. But didn't he already apply and failed the training? <laughs> you would? How exciting! But we're pretty strict, you know. You'll have to clear some really harsh trials. Not to worry. This old goat's tougher than you think. <laughs> hmm? That's Ryan's number one apprentice. Once my sister's technique gets a hold of your mind, there is no escape. <sighs> Essence of sexy cosplay. What a concept. <gasps> Yay, we got SP. And, uh, and that about sums it up. <laughs> impossible a true ninja abstains from worldly desires how could master asakusa fall prey to such such schemes Ugh. curse you kalashnikov your crimes will not be forgiven hey. well, tell me you're planning revenge i do not merely plan it he and i will duel to the death hey. you sure that's a good idea kalashnikov was in the military he'll crush you man then so be it. I cannot let this insult tarnish my honor. I have the power of the heavens and ninjutsu on my hey. side. Hey. <sighs> Fine. Guess I ought to be there at this showdown. The gift that just keeps on giving. Ryan's going to end up joining their dojo once he sees the sexy cosplay jutsu. Ryan, you're really going to duel this guy? There is no other choice. If I must perish alongside Master Kalashnikov, then so be it. In death, I will be immortalized as legend. No way. You really need to tone it down, man. Oh, shit. Master Ryan. Ah, I see the coward has decided to show his face. <sighs> Listen, I do not wish to shed another's blood. Fighting is foolish. My ancestors from 500 years ago knew this well from the Great Ninja War. Spare me your paltry platitudes. There are times where a shinobi must fight, and I'd rather my body be buried than my pride. Very well. Then let us put words aside. Prepare yourself, for I will hold nothing back. Bring it on! I'll I'll toast you like a mochi at a mochi roast. What? Don't bring my cat into this! A brother, please cease this nonsense at once. This is not your fight, Sophia. Stay out of this. I cannot. Oh? Who might this be? Master Ryan. I apologize for all the trouble my brother has caused. So please, won't you stay your hand? What? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 
will beg on my hands and knees if I must. Yeah, I think um, I might need a little bit more persuasion. <laughs> Her technique, it's unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Ryan? Master Kalashnikov, mm -hmm. what is it? I've decided to propose a truce. <gasps> Have you now? Yes. Were you to meet your end here, your fair sister's heart would be broken. I could not be so cruel. Then a truce it is. Oh, I mean, oh, -ho! I just had the greatest idea. What say you and I join forces? With our knowledge and mastery of the ninja arts combined, we can advance ninja kind. Well, that would certainly be wiser than infighting. Perhaps I should have considered this approach from the start. Do you mean it? Verily, I do. As a matter of fact, I'd like you to join my dojo as a special instructor. Will you do us great honor and guide us along the Ryan path? I... I can think of no greater honor than that. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll be able to see Sophia-san every day and think ninja thoughts. <laughs> Unfortunately, our finances are in a bit of a rut. There will be no salary and you'll need to pay monthly rent. If only ninjutsu could magic money into the air. I understand completely. And besides, your sis, uh, your school offers all the bounty a ninja could need. I am in your debt, Master Ryan. <laughs> oh, what joy, Master Ryan. Can you teach me some ninja secrets too? Nin, nin. Master Sophia, I would spill all my secrets to you in a heartbeat. Believe it! <laughs> so even Ryan fell play to her co prey to her cosplay. She must be a total pro. Believe it! I'm sure he's ready to spill everything for her. Well, I suppose that's case closed, as you say. And what do you mean, case closed? You flat out got seduced, man. You, you misunderstand. My thought is only for the future of ninjutsu. Master Ryan! Oh, coming, Master Sophia! My apologies, Master Yagami, but I must take my leave. Guess who wants to train with me today? Huh. I guess that's the end of Ryan's ninja school. And with any luck, the beginning of a weird new romance. <laughs> that was 100 million percent worth it. So I think the first thing we need to do, we're full on health, is... I guess we gotta we wanna just um just some main story for a little bit. See how long it get, takes to get us back to a Jincho and figure out from there. Let's rest up. Wait a minute. What? Yo, you took your sweet time. But I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijincho, right? 
to meet with Sawa Sensei? Kaito-san, you do realize that only I can meet her. You can't get into the school. I know, but if you end up taking it off campus, can you at least call me this time? No. Don't you understand the situation? Sawa Sensei might be tied to murder. <laughs> you sure you understand it? Come on, she would never do that. That a fact? So happens I'm a great judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. Head to a Jean show. Sounds good. What we do? You want to see the sub story? Okay, hopefully it's not a super long one. Oh, hold on though. Well, first stop, it's gotta be Chinatown. Can't face Sukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito-san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked out the math. I figure if I hit four or five places a day... What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. Kamurocha thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! What are you fools doing in town? Hey! Don't ignore me! It's Kaito! Fancy seeing you here! I'm kind of busy here, man. Catch you later. What an asshole. Ichincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. But something's not right if they're just cruising around. Hmm. It's gotta be an RK operation. He brought too many guys for it to be something more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. Hmm. Well, whatever they came out here to do, we ought to keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're gonna be late for class. I'll catch you after school. I should head to Sadio High. I need to find out if Mamiya really has a connection to Sawa Sensei. Okay. Light of the game creator is right here. Seven upstairs. Oh, crap, another crash. Better compile. Oh, now what? We've yet to receive a reply about the graphics on level three. Please inform us of your decision. Why the hell are you asking me? I'm not the director. What makes you think I have any say in that? Ugh. Oh, and what's this? Rewrite to account for user behavior? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what? That didn't seem to fit at all. The game's basically shovelware already at this point. <laughs> this guy definitely sounds like a coder of some sort. I'm guessing he's Okizaki-san, the client. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Okizaki-san? Eh? Ah, are, are you from Babylon? Please don't tell me you tracked me down about the delay. No. Huh? No, I'm Takayuki Yagami, a detective. I came here about a potential job. Oh. 
Whew, you're just a detective. First, I was worried you worked for a publisher. Oh, you might have come here to yell at me about how far behind we are in development. So, uh, so, uh, could you tell me about this job? Oh, yes. Please, take a seat. Let's see what he has to say. Better hear him out. Um... You work for a game company, right, Okizaki-san? Which one is that? Hi. Yes, I'm a developer for God-tier games. Hmm? A developer? Yes, uh, game companies are generally divided between publishers and developers. Publishers are the ones who handle the physical printing or digital releases of games. They also do the marketing, event planning, those sort of things. Yeah, like Atlas. Developers are the ones who focus on the production, coding, writing, sound, testing, all the work inside the game. Yeah, like Ryugagotok. Sometimes we reach out to publishers with project proposals, while other times the publishers come to us with specific work in mind. I see. I see. Didn't know it was divided like that. Some companies actually have different branches that cover both. But God tier only develops, like Atlas or Square Enix. <laughs> Since we're such a small outfit, we've got just over a hundred staffers. I'm the publishing manager. It's more or less a mid-level position. By the way, what does the director do with video games? I'm guessing they're in charge of something, right? Hi. Right, so the role can vary depending on the place, but ours are in total charge of the products, projects they're assigned. If I had to boil it all down, the director's biggest job is making sure the game they're creating is fun. <sighs> but instead, our director vanished before the game could be mastered and sent off to the publisher. Now everyone's in a bit of a panic. Phew, sounds rough. This is our director. Ryuichi Shinonome. So, this is who I'm supposed to find. Okay, about Shinonome-san. What's the guy like? Shinonome is, well, foremost, he's a genius. Really? Hi. Yes, without him, the project wouldn't have even happened in the first place. In fact, he's the one who originally pitched the idea to the publisher. The fact that it was greenlit so quickly is rather exceptional. Um... Yeah, that doesn't sound common. Hi. Right. It's not. This is the first time it's happened with God Tier. Not only that, but they gave us quite an impressive budget for an initial project. Now that's uncommon. I see. I see. So this Shinonome is a real whiz, huh? So, what's the problem? <sighs> well, he's a bit moody, actually. Emotionally unstable might be more accurate. Uh, so that's why he took off. Hi. Yes, this is even close to the first time it's happened either. I've had to go talk to him into coming back each time. But this time he got really serious about it. Apparently he made a spy game a long time ago and he used what he learned during his research to disappear. But wait, so he was researching so that he could make a spy game and he used those real life spy techniques to disappear. He bugged the office before he left to keep tabs on us. We think he even snuck out in disguise to keep us from noticing. Wow, that's pretty involved. Why go through all that effort to ghost a job? Shinonome-san's basically running on single digit HP at this point. But with all the scheduling and task management, let alone his never-ending meetings with the publisher. He works until midnight almost every day and even spends the night at the office most of the time. <sighs> I honestly can't blame him for wanting to get away from that. Wow. About his location. Well, do you have any idea on where he may have run off to? Hi. Not specifically, but he does seem to be in the city, city still. A couple of different people have told me they've seen him around town. Hmm, wonder why he's ditched work but hasn't left the city outright yet. Well, there's a chance he is feeling conflicted about not delivering the game. After all, the concept was his in the first place. 
Honestly, he reminds me of the, the most of a runaway kid. They might storm out of the house, but they're still too attached to go very far. Hmm. Well, if he's really that attached, we might be able to convince him to come back. By the way, where was he last seen? Around Sakura River Street. That was about 50, 10 to 15 minutes ago, too. So he might still be there. I would have checked myself if not for all the work. No problem. I get it. I'll go check around there. Rookie developer. She's adorable. Okizaki san, thank god I found you. We've got a situation. Shinanogawa Shinano san? What is it? Babylon producer. Kinagawa, he stormed the office over the delayed master. Huh? What? Uh, I'm serious. It's bad. He was screaming. Where's Shinonome? Over and over. He looks like he might pop a gasket any second. Oh no. I. Uh, I'll see you later, Yagami san. Please, find Shinonome san as soon as you can. Game development sure sounds rough. It is. It absolutely is. If I remember right, Shinome san was last reported seen around here. Well, let's see if he's still around. Okay, thick glasses, unkempt bed head. Long, thin eyes, mole on the side of his nose, thick eyebrows, and stubble. Uh, well, I think that's him. Hey. Maybe not. I don't see the mole. His eyes are almond shaped, too. Never mind. Looks really close, though. Suspicious. No glasses. Definitely not him. Hey. He's got a mole Suspicious. on the side of his nose. That hair's different from the guy in the pictures. But that's easy easy to change with a wig. Guess I shouldn't factor that into the profile. face no that's a full-grown beard but that could just be a fake guess I shouldn't factor that into the profile the sky he matches Shinonome-san's profile besides the hair disguising yourself as one of the homeless Shinonome-san gotta say not a bad strategy excuse me are you Shinonomi-san from God Tier Games? Um. Mm -hmm. Who are you? It's Yagami. I'm Yagami, a detective. Okizaki-san from your company. He asked me to find you. Yep, I'm Shinonomi, all right. Please. Apparently, the project is falling apart without you. Would you head back to the office? Buy me some food first. What? Huh? You want food? Can't work on an empty stomach? Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, but not today. Spot me tomorrow. That guy is hooking me up today. Hmm? Who is? That guy. What? Damn it! <laughs> It was huh. not him. Wait, don't tell me. That was Shinonome-san? So who are you? Obviously just some homeless guy. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I sure love raisins. Oh, what? Ah, uh. oh, hell. A disguise? It was a raisin? <laughs> Damn it, he played me. Now he's gone. Hmm. 
Well, this sucks. Wonder if I can figure out where he's going. I should check and observe if he left any evidence at the scene. Let's see what we're looking for. Oh, thank you. Kitty. 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 Suspicious. Now that I'm getting a better look at this guy, he doesn't actually look much like Shinonome, does he? What? Keep staring and I'll start charging ya. That raisin. Did Shinonome give you that? Aw. Oh. Yeah. Put it on with some rice paste. Uh-huh. By the way, do you know where Shinonome-san went off to? Who knows? He left some important stuff behind and ran off in a tizzy. Uh. Okay, just... Uh, okay. <laughs> What the? Hmm? Huh? A laptop? Is that yours? No, it's that guy's. The one who said he'd feed me. Guess he must have forgot it. Oh, so it's Shinonome's? He was fiddling with it all the time, too. Sometimes he'd start screaming at it, real pissed. Stuff like, damn bugs! <sighs> so he fled his job. He wanted to keep up with the game? Hmm. Sounds like he might still be at least a bit invested in his progress. This laptop reeks of cigarettes. When it comes to smells, I know just who to call. You guys know who it's time to call? Oh, you, you are here from the uh, movie reactions. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Very glad. Do you also play games from time to time or? Is this all foreign to you completely? No, no Ghostbusters. We got to right, call the go. detective dog. Good boy. The good boy. I believe the bestest you, buddy. boy. Rompo, can you track Shinonome with this? Nice. Let's see where Rompo goes. This way, huh? Oh, yeah. Got something? Which way? Show me the way. This way, huh? You do play games? So what what kind of games do you play? We're getting a real workout here. Getting our cardio in. All right, which way? Doing Straight. Great. Got something? This way, huh? Is that him? Mm hmm? Huh? What's with this dog? Oh. Told me once, shame on you. Oh. Crap! You found me! You're not getting away this time, especially not with this guy with me. <laughs> Shinonome-san, please go back to work. Don't you have a responsibility as the director? No way! That exploitative workplace will be the death of me! No way. Really? That seems like a stretch. It's no stretch. Long periods of overtime can lead to death by overworking. I've already done 80 hours of it this month. If I work any more, I'm gonna drop. You know, I'm on his side. He doesn't need to deal with this shit. Nobody should have to. Hmm? 80 hours? Seriously? I think we should go to the publishers and beat their ass. Let's solve this Yagami style. And that doesn't even include the unpaid OT I've worked. Don't underestimate the gaming industry. Unpaid overtime? 
Huh. Wow. I was fine putting up with it at first since the project was my idea, but then that monstrous producer started breathing down my neck. First, they raised the bar for quality over and over without ever pushing the deadlines back. Next thing they do, they scream at me to get everything done on time. Even my staff has started snapping at me. What are you gonna do? Hurry up and decide all day long. They have no idea how much I'm shielding them from the producer from hell. Excuse me. Yeah, this producer's from hell. Who is that exactly? He works for a publisher, Babylon. He's the one who controls all our funding and he's one terrifying guy. I, I think he's in the Yakuza. I'm scared he's gonna rub me out or something. Okay, um, I, I, the fr I'm, I'm having trouble with this phrasing. This does... I feel like there's a better way he could have said that. Like, snuff me out or something? Is this a common, like, phrase that I'm unaware of? It's an old expression? Hold on. Leave it to me to make it weird. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know if the Yakuza would rub you out over again. Stop saying it! <laughs> I don't know if the Yakuza would rub you out over a game. Whatever. I'm not going back. You can't make me. Well, this isn't going well. Now what do I do? Um... Talk it out with the client? Forcing him to go back won't work. He'll just bail again later. Looks like we all just have to talk it Excuse out. Excuse me. Sorry, Shinomi-san. Can you hold on for a second? Huh? Why don't we go to the publisher and tell him to back off? Hello? Shinonome-san, please come back. Okizaki-san. What are you going to do if we don't get the master finished? All of our hard work, almost a year's worth, out the window. Ah? Shut up. Working for that company is nightmare mode. How the hell do you expect me to make that deadline? I couldn't meet if I cheated in mainline energy drinks until we were done. My stomach's a wreck, man. I've been finding blood in my stool. And I've been sleeping under my desk for months. It's murder on my back. I know, but still, you need to come back. Kinugawa-san came to the office. I've never seen a producer that angry. Hinugawa-san's at the office? At the office? At the office? <laughs> Sounds like the pro that's the producer from hell. Actually, no. He stormed out after saying something like, Wait till I get my hands on that. Well, uh, the last word wasn't a nice one. Oh, jeez. Check out the neck on this guy. Check out his whole everything. He looks like a giant weird thumb. Ah, oh, finally gotcha, Shinonome. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Kinugawa-san? Huh? Huh? That's him? Ah! You rap bastard. Trying to skip out on your end of the deal, huh? Or you didn't call this? Bullshit development. I, I'm not. Then what the fuck are you doing out here? The fuck's your fan base supposed to do, huh? <laughs> you want to see what a game over is like in real life, huh? You'll see it when you sink to the bottom of Tokyo Bay. Yeah, yeah what the hell? You to know me? Either you come back to work or you die right on the spot here. Time to pick. Welcome to your last life, bub. No continues after this. Ah! Jeez, no wonder he's a producer from hell. This would be considered abuse of power in a Yakuza family, let alone in the game industry. I... You... What? I quit. What? 
I said I quit. Forget that exploitative boil bullcrap. I'll never go back. I've been out of out of life since the moment I started working with you. Oh. <laughs> oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. And you call yourself a visionary? Well, visualize this. Oh god. <coughs> I can't do it. Oh God, <coughs> my throat. I need water. <laughs> You're telling me you want to disappoint all those people who fucking love your games, huh? And you know what? I'm sick of this thug stick of yours. You're crazy enough. You should come with an age restriction. You. Why, you garbage ass code monkey? You fucking talk to me that way. It's really game over now. Yeah! Oh crap. This isn't just an abusive workplace. This is really bad. Hey. Hey, cut it out. You can't hurt him. Aren't you aware of the Abuse of Authority Prevention Act? Huh? The fuck are you talking about? Out of my way, dipshit, or I'll kill your ass too. Oh, come on. Where's this Yakuza talk coming from? Aren't you supposed to work for a legitimate, legitimate business? The fuck do you mean, Yakuza? I've been a civvy since I crawled out of the womb. Okay, gross, but calm down. <laughs> I don't think he's calming down. <laughs> oh. <coughs> I'll crush your fucking skull. What the? Alchemy song, run. When he gets this mad, he can't think straight. He's really going to kill you. Uh, what? Die. <laughs> Oh boy. You're strong as hell. May way more of a secret boss than a trash mob. No way. Okay, dude. You really better cool it now. Do you think your company is going to be okay with your assaulting a contracted employee? <sighs> yeah, my bad. The blood just ran to my head's all. I forgot they warned me if I popped off like that. Again, they can my ass. I think we could all forget about this. No, I think he needs to get canned. Hmm. Uh, but, um, Yagami-san, what should we do about him? Oh, about him. This guy, forgot. Still not going back. Excuse me. Okizaki-san. Kinugawa-san. I think maybe you three just need to talk it out. 
Talk it out? No, that ain't happening. I know what I gotta do. What? Huh? Shinonome. Uh. Hey, what? Forehead to the floor. To the fucking floor. Thank you. To the fucking floor. <laughs> Huh? I'm begging you. You gotta come back. Without you, this game's totally fucked. It needs you. We need you. Hinogawa-san? I know I've bitten your head off a bunch, but I also know you really are a fucking genius. That's why I bent over backwards to get this project greenlit. The sheer amount of ass I kissed to get the execs to sign off on it. So he really is like super invested and um, uh, just really believes in this project and this video game, but he just has a really bad temper. <laughs> I thought like usually he was going to be some like Yakuza guy or something who's like not even he's just in it for like the money or whatever this is just one of his side hustles you know so Shinonome don't you ever forget fans all across Japan nah the whole ass world they're dying waiting for your next game I should know I'm one of them I can't wait to play this motherfucking game These two sub stories back to back have been so excellent. Kinogawa san. I understand, but I'm not working unpaid overtime anymore. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. I can live with that. Ooh, that really seemed like it was going to go south. But it all worked out. Shinonome. Don't you worry that... That genius little noggin of yours about unpaid OT. <laughs> but you are gonna master that game on time. You hear me? Ugh. I'll... Uh, I'll get it done. That was so fun. Yagami-san, thank you so much. I think we might actually be okay now. Yep. That's good. By the way, when's the release date? Oh, um, actually, it's in a few days. Yeah, they're gonna have to delay it. I, you're gonna have to delay it. Huh? Huh? That's all? Are you really going to be okay? Well, it's a VR game developed on a pre-existing engine for specific headsets at events and VR playrooms and whatnot. Unlike other releases, there's no need to produce physical media or upload the ROM to digital storefronts. Actually, you can keep working on it right up to the release date, so as long as you push the day one patch in time, although that's not an ideal scenario. Oh. Oh, a VR game. Those can be pretty fun. Please, do give it a try when it's released. I'll let you know when it's live. <laughs> cool, looking forward to it. Okizaki-san, bad news. Shinonogawa-san, what is it this time? Shinonomi-san's thrown the whole team into high gear. He said he's redoing the fourth boss entirely from scratch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, what? We just finished that! If we have to respec, redo all the programming, and then debug, we're not gonna make it. <sighs> I know, but Shinonomi-san won't budge. He said it's about the quality. Again? What did Kinugawa-san have to say about it? So long as the master's done in time, you do what Shinonomi tells you. I'll handle the execs at Babylon. 
Ugh. I don't know which is worse anymore. Stubborn Shinonome or inspired Shinonome. Now that he's got the producer from hell in his corner, nobody can stop him. Excuse me. Uh, are you really gonna be okay? Kagami san, it appears I'm about to enter the final phase of yep. battle. All right, well, good luck with the release. Here I go. <laughs> Working in the game industry seems rough, but I guess it sounds like it could be fun too. <laughs> we got an extract recipe die hard. Oh boy. Redoing a whole scenario from scratch a few days before release that there's no way that that's working out. Come on now. 